and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you. All right, folks, what are we talking about today? Man, oh man, do you remember a few years ago in Charlottesville, Virginia, we had a group of protesters coming out and they had little ticky torches and they were chanting you will now replace us or for some people say you will now replace us We had the whole Democrat Party, led by Biden, who kept using that phrase over and over and tying Donald Trump with that movement. And then the president, when the rest of the world was looking for condemnation, and we were, when those good, decent people came and said, who were fighting against hate, not in supporting hate, and there was a clash. What did he say when asked? He said there were good people, some good people. On both sides. I tell you what, I, uh, I don't think we've ever heard, very fine was his phrase, very fine people on both sides. You know, and just a few days ago when the president was critical of my saying that, and I said it back and wrote an article in Atlantic Magazine at the time it occurred, he now has come down and doubled down on concocting a phony story about how these violent thugs only wanted to protect the statue of Robert E. Lee. Give me a break. Okay, they want to say they were Republicans, and they just kept using that over and trying to put, tie that around Donald Trump's neck. And he said a phrase here where was taken out of context. He never said there was fine people on both sides. He never said that. But if you read the whole clip, They'll say you'll see the truth. Excuse me. To protest Excuse me. They didn't make themselves down as you. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group. Excuse me. Excuse me. I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name. George Washington was a slave owner. Was George Washington a slave owner? So will George Washington now lose his status? Are we going to take down, excuse me, are we going to take down, are we going to take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You like him? Okay, good. Are we going to take down the statue? Because he was a major slave owner. Now we're going to take down his statue. So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history. You're changing culture. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. Now, in the other group also, you had some fine people, but you also had troublemakers, and you see them come with the, with the black outfits and with the helmets and with the baseball bats. You got a, you had a lot of bad, you had a lot of bad people in the other group too. But now we call that chief fakes, right? Right? Kareem jump here. But if you read the whole clip and saw the whole contents, you see that he did not never say there are both sides. There are good people on both sides or whatever phrase he said. But now, 
we have students all over the country, more than 300, more than just Charlottesville. It was over every major university across the land. Okay. We have students, especially Columbia, uh, Ivy League going out and not saying Jews will not replace us. They were saying death to all Jews. So I'm going to teach you a chant in Persian that you can use if you ever encounter those Zionist freaks, whether they be Iranian or whatever, all right? <laughs> we can get a Mar Bar Amrita. Yes, we can. Oh. Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Israel! 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 Now, we see what happened with the Donald Trump reaction, okay? And how other people perceive what Donald Trump was saying. About 300 people in Charlottesville. We have a whole nation the whole summer since October 7th. All these major universities. Columbia leads the way. I'm going to pick out Columbia because they're an Ivy League. Are talking about death to all the Jews. And what does Biden says? Crickets. Yes. So is anybody out there comparing what Biden said about Trump, about Charlottesville, and what is he saying now about these students, these professional protesters? Nothing. It's so bad. Alvin Bragg in New York. He had over 40 students that he could have charged for crime, for kidnapping, for destruction of property. What does Evan Bragg does? At least 30 of the 46 cases against those campus protesters have been dismissed. It was on April 30th that Columbia students and staff members were arrested and charged with misdemeanor trespassing charges after anti-Israel protesters took over Hamilton Hall on Columbia University's campus, barricading themselves inside for hours before police with riot gear cleared the building, making dozens of arrests. The occupation was a significant escalation in the weeks-long demonstrations and encampments at the university protesting the war in Gaza. But now prosecutors claim they don't have enough evidence to support the charges or to show any property was damaged or that anyone was hurt, even noting how prosecutors or how protesters wore masks to cover their faces and covered surveillance cameras during the incident. In a statement, the DA's office says it is continuing to pursue cases from both campuses, including all assaults against police officers. There are ongoing school disciplinary proceedings for the students who have had their cases dismissed and Columbia University declined to comment on the dropped cases guys two tiers of justice two tiers of morality I guess you see what the Republicans say and how Republican reacts and then when it's the left they get away with anything they could say anything they could get off Alvin Bragg just let all these folks off and what does that tell the rest of the mob we can get away with it. All you got to do is put on a mask. Meanwhile, we have students burning down, burning down the cities, burning down colleges, and they're getting off scot-free. We demand divestment. We will not be moved unless by force. We have Charlottesville over here, 300 people. Some of them were plants. Some of them were plants from the Democrat Party. And then we have Cities across the fucking U.S. on fire and nobody pressing charges. We had another one in California. These, these students held the president and staff members hostages. Classes at Cal State LA will be remote today after protesters took over a building on campus and caused all this damage. And we've uh, heard that university employees were inside, might have been trapped when all of this was happening. So this morning we are seeing all of the damage uh, from broken windows to spray painted walls. They moved out all the furniture. NBC 4's Lauren Coronado is live at Cal State LA where protesters were there earlier. Are they still there this morning, Lauren? 
Lynette Adrian, good morning. There are still a few protesters who've been walking around the student services building, which we're outside of right now. I tried talking with them. They didn't want to talk. We've seen that same situation at other university campuses where these protesters aren't too open in talking with us. But I do want to show you the aftermath. All of the vandalism, it's just so bad. You can see the windows are spray painted. And nothing happens to them. Nothing happened to them. California. Where is Mayor Bass? Where is Gavin Newsom? What's their statements? No, 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 no. It has to be a Republican. If you don't fit the mold, if you don't fit the, the script, you're the bad guy. I don't care what you do, what you say. But if you're left, if you're a, a, a Palestine sympathizer, no. you get away with murder. You get away with destroying property. And then we have Alvin Bragg here just <laughs> letting it go. What the fuck? Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day, guys. If you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Palestine sympathizers, get your ass off my lawn.